In today's video, I'll be showing you how to pair your Amazfit Bip 3, which is this one right here, with your iPhone. This is the iPhone 13 Pro, but you can do this on pretty much any iPhone. So the first thing you need to do is obviously switch on your Amazfit Bip 3. And once you switch it on, you're going to see this QR code which you need to use to pair. Now leave that first and then go to your iPhone. On the iPhone, go to your App Store and then download this application called Zep. Right? So this is the app you need to download and then launch it. And once you launch Zep, go ahead and sign in with your Zep account. If you don't have a Zep account, then you can create one. And once you create one and sign in, you can see some data on mine because I previously had an Amazfit watch. That's why you can see some data here. But what you need to do is go to the bottom of the screen and then tap on profile on the right hand side and go to my devices. You can see it's currently looking for my previous Amazfit device, but go ahead and tap on add next to my devices. So tap on add and then select whatever device you want to add. Mine is a watch, so I'll add watch. Tap on agree and then select watch with a QR code. Tap on that. And then now I need to use this to scan the QR code on the watch. And it's going to take a few seconds to detect and it's going to be detected. And now on the watch, it says accept phone pairing request. Tap on yes. And then give it time to bound with the phone. And now as you can see, it's paired successfully. Then I'll tap on activate. And of course here it's telling me before activating, Amazfit GTR 2E will be stopped. Continue anyway. That's my previous Amazfit device. If you didn't have a previous device, then you might not see the screen. So I'll just quickly tap OK. And now just sit back and wait for it to activate this Amazfit Bip 3. And now since the two are already paired, it's now time just to configure the pairing the way you want. For instance, it's telling me to allow Amazfit Bip 3 to receive phone notifications. I want that, so I'll tap on allow, tap OK. And because I had a previous watch, it's going to try and recover my previous settings. So I'll tap on do not restore. And there you go, so it's paired. But then automatically it detects there's a software system update for the watch that's available. So I'll let it go through the download process and install the latest firmware on the watch. This happens automatically as soon as the two devices are paired. And when it's done, it will let you know it is already the latest version. So tap on got it. And that's it. Your Amazfit Bip 3 is now connected and ready to be used with your iPhone. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. And good luck.